Hello and welcome to the fifth chapter of Turing Dev Talks, where we take you through the basic concepts of skill sets and technologies that top American companies look for when hiring software engineers. I am Alina, signing in from Gurgaon, India, and today's guest speaker, Manav, is joining us all the way from Jordan. Manav has six years of experience in front-end development with expertise in React.js, Vue.js, HTML, and CSS. Today, we'll hear him talk about Vue.js, its features, applications, use cases, differences between Vue.js and React.js, and why Vue.js is amongst the most popular JavaScript frameworks. This video is divided into two parts. The first part will cover the basics of Vue.js, its features, applications, and use cases. The second part will discuss the basic differences and similarities between Vue.js and React.js, and it will give you some solid reasons to learn Vue.js. The link to the second video will be mentioned in the description below. Let's get started. Hi, Manav. First of all, thank you so much for joining us for this discussion. How are you and how are things in Jordan? Hi, Lina. I'm doing good, actually. I'm doing great. And things are going cool in Jordan, actually. We have a good weather today. It's 28 Celsius degree. And uh, we are enjoying the weather. How, how are you? I'm good as well. Thank you so much for asking. So, Manav, you've worked on front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, Vue.js, React.js, amongst others, for a pretty long time, I must say. Amongst these, you must have also seen that React.js and Vue.js are the most popular. Why do you think that's the case? And what is unique about Vue.js in particular, if you had to talk about? So, let's start first of all, uh, why React is React and has its popularity. Uh, React has been the major player in the front-end arena for a long time, guaranteeing stability and long-term support. Uh, and that's why, and that's why, because it's developed by a tech giant like a Facebook. On the other hand, if UGS when it started, it started by a developer who was a former developer in Google. And when he started the project, he actually was working in, in Google. And this was his side project. His name was Ivan Yu, and he developed this framework, let's say, uh, to keep focus on the view layer and the Vue.js, which creates a framework easy to integrate into present projects. It's also a good choice if you are developing a refined single page application, uh, provided that uh, with contigu contiguous and uh, continuous uh, development tools. Yeah. And adding to that, that uh, with 181 GitHub stars, uh, Vue.js is right now is the most popular JavaScript framework. Uh, and React is taking the second place with 165 stars and continues to grow and gain new users. Many well-known companies have a web, app, web applications made with Vue.js and React. And uh, right now, the, I'll say the battle is uh, various between uh, React and Vue.js, and both are uh, gaining a huge community and a huge contributions from the front end developers. Okay, that definitely looks like there's an ongoing tussle between React.js and Vue.js. Which of the two uh, do you prefer? Actually, unfortunately, there is no easy answer to that question because it all depends on your individual needs and the requirements of your projects. So uh, Vue.js is well known for the quick learning speed or learning curve and the fast development approach, which helps building websites in quick time. So uh, this is always said, if you have a tight budget or tight timeline, Vue.js can help you to develop your MVP in, in let's say in quick time or in no time. And the other hand, React maybe needs a little bit of learning curve and uh, a bit of effort to uh, make a boilerplate ready for the other developers to contribute in that. And other than that, if you have, uh, say, a static web application, and this static web page is uh, focused on UI, or let's say focused on articles, and you don't know if you are going to add more functionality to that static web page, Vue.js can help you with that, because Vue.js focuses on more on the layer, on the UI side, with the help of the JavaScript. So you can build a web page easily, fast, and that focuses on UI. And if you need to, in the, let's say, in the long run, to add more JavaScript functions or mod, more functionality or interactivity to the web application, Vue.js can help you in doing that also. 
okay that's interesting that's that's an interesting uh, way of putting things uh, now that we're talking about vue.js in this detail and how it has gained popularity in the recent years could you also tell our audience more about its features yeah sure so if we go back with time and we look about the main argument when vue.js was introduced we had a, a furious battle between React.js and AngularJS. And React.js was introduced by Facebook and AngularJS was introduced by Google. And AngularJS, when it was introduced, it was introduced in MVC module as a framework. And React.js was introduced as a functional programming library. And the difference between a framework and a library that the framework tells you what to do and, re and library, you tell it what to do. And then this, let's say, uh, hustle, the Vue.js came with, let's say, with a reasonable answer for those both. So I create a mixture between the framework and the library. So you can install the libraries that you want and you can treat it as a library, but also Vue.js have a built-in features that help you as a framework. So you have a form validations built in in Vue.js and you have a two-way data binding and you have the life cycle that introduced as a, as a framework. So this is, let's say, the main functionality that Vue.js gained popularity in. And we can add to that that, that, that Vue.js have an adaptive, adaptive, that <clears throat> adaptable and transitions and components and detailed documentation. Those are, let's say, helping the Vue.js also to thrive into the front-end uh, community. Okay, that's that's interesting. And Vue.js does have some amazing features, it seems. And uh, previously, it was an ongoing battle between React and Angular. Now, I think the battle uh, is between React and Vue.js. Is that what you think as well? Actually, Angular is not dead, let's say. But uh, most companies right now goes with React and Vue.js. And that's been told by Stack Overflow statistics and github also you can see the stars on that and uh, actually yeah, actually i also have nothing against angular but it's a great technology to use also okay okay right now let us talk about uh, the applications and use cases of ujs uh, can you also tell our audience more about the companies that make good use of ujs yeah sure we have uh, gitlab uh, Vice News, BMW, Adobe, and those big companies add, let's say, uh, big contributions in the community. And uh, if we need to compare Vue.js with the companies that use React.js, we can say that React.js was used by, by RPMB, and RPMB had, let's say, huge contributions in React. And these contributions, like uh, the documentations and uh, guidelines for a well call for well written code, had helped the React community to evolve and thrive. And now we are seeing this in Vue.js, where we see like companies like GitLab, Behance, and Vice News developing their own criteria or own uh, guidelines for good quality code. And when we talk about companies like BMW, and BMW is uh, most likely this big, uh, so let's say, uh, industrial companies are well known for legacy projects or legacy uh, best projects. So we can see here that if UGS helped these companies to introduce the new tech side or the new frameworks, uh, from the front end side. This is why you can see uh, a big uh, industrial companies now using Vue.js because they don't want to, let's say, go through the hustle and learning from scratch uh, the new frameworks. They can go Vue.js and Vue.js is easy to learn and help them with that, yeah. Okay, then that's nice. And um, GitLab and BMW are some really big names. Uh, and I think with companies like GitLab and BMW using Vue.js, popularity will surely rise in the coming years. Yes, yes, even uh, through React has been the leader in popularity among JavaScript frameworks. Vue.js is the second most popular JavaScript framework. I think it's mainly because Vue.js was started by a developer, not a cooperation. So it not enjoy the immediate popularity boost that React did. So uh, that's actually true. In fact, even I've heard that when it was first released, Vue.js was first released, many developers didn't rely on it and they were really hesitant to adopt it. 
but i think new js has seen substantial growth ever since then and there has been an increase in the popularity all thanks to the support and contributions from the user community okay uh, now um, enough even though we have companies like gitlab and bmw using new js where do you think new js fits best and in other words what tasks is new js best suited for so as we said before it's let's say there is no well drawn line that vue.js is best in that and react is best in that because it's uh, you can do both but let's say in vue.js if you are dealing with a prototypes or let's say a web application that's more focused on ui we encourage you to go with vue.js because you don't have to go through the oiler plates and uh, all the javascript and will uh, will maintain pipeline for the data view js help you in creating a quick and easy to use ui with minimal javascript without going through the the maintaining the pipeline for the data flow and uh, also if you have integration demand if you have an existing application and you want to add some interactivity to it Vue.js can help you with that since it's based on JavaScript. It can easily be integrated with any project using JS. Moreover, if it's uh, it's compatible with many backend technologies and the frameworks like Laravel, Express, Ruby on Rails, and here to ease of learning to cover the aspects of team training. So if you have, let's say, a legacy project like uh, building a PC using PHP, and you need uh, to this uh, PHP developers to learn the new front end or single page application concepts, uh, Vue.js can help them with that because you know they need to go through learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then learn the new frameworks. But when you add Vue.js, you need to only learn HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, and the Vue.js can help them to enhance their technology or let's say uh, their code base. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely gives a very good picture of where Vue.js is used in the industry. Everybody listening to us out there, if you are a senior developer looking for remote jobs in the Silicon Valley, head on to Turing.com/jobs and apply now. All right, this brings us to an end of the first part of our discussion on Vue.js, Manav. Uh, head on to the link in the description below if you would like to watch the second part of the video or discussion on Vue.js. You will learn more about the major differences between React JS and Vue JS, and we'll also give you some solid reasons to learn Vue JS in 2021 and 2022. Hit the bell icon to stay tuned for more updates. Like and share this video with your friends and family, and do not forget to subscribe to Turing.com. We'll see you very soon in the upcoming videos. Till then, stay safe, stay home, and click on the link in the description below to apply to Turing. Happy working!